Good day, gentlemen and ladies. The subject of my video today is about the Guard Pro Trail Camera X60 Pro Max, which is located inside this very nice package box and also the solar panel will go with it. It's the uh, model SP300, all right? They both came together and also uh, mounting hardware for the uh, camera. So stick around, we're gonna talk about that in detail, how the setup and everything. Cheers. So the first step that I've done is I read the three uh, instruction manuals. The first one was regarding the solar permit, the solar, solar panel, sorry about that. And like I say, I like everything. It's not a manual, but it's more leaflet. So uh, basically keep it clean. Don't use any corrosive stuff and take it and put it very well uh, towards the south in the North, uh, Amer uh, North America. Like on, uh, what did it say? Installing the panel? In the Northern Hemisphere. That's the correct word, all right? Panel should ideally face south. So like in the box, important note, using the solar panel, I like everything uh, and make sure that you use the correct one. It could be bought separately, but you have to make sure that it fit with the proper camera that you're buying. Some solar panel come with uh, a battery, a rechargeable battery, and uh, this one does not. So uh, that's why it's very important. Okay. So, and uh, my advice, and uh, not my advice, but uh, my review about the written uh, manual, instruction manual, it is very well done, very well written. It's very easy to understand. It's, uh, they really took the time to use the, the proper word, all right? And uh, for the solar panel, it's only coming in English uh, instruction, okay? Now, about the other manual, it's the instruction manual and safety requirement about the battery, the cell will come with the camera. And that's the first, first, first maintenance step that you have to do is, and, uh, and the manual is very well done, like I, I went through it. And there's very nice, uh, it's in English, in Dutch, and in Francais, in Italiano, all right? So uh, in English, there's an important note about the, uh, the, the, the battery. Please read the product sale page carefully and consult the seller or dealer before making a purchase. Do not modify a use in order power supply purpose. So it's very well written and it says right away, the, the charging the battery, to charge the battery pack, you have two options. Now with the camera, okay, under the belt here in that little pocket you will find this uh, cable and you can put it in USB plug or and it's very really nice thing is you can detach it from it or you can use it if you have a type of uh, recharging all right so what I've done basically is I remove the camera I remove the plastic and I open it it's easy to open like uh, just to open it like this and inside the camera, you're gonna find an envelope here. It's very easy to remove it like this. And uh, I'm just gonna put it like that. And you connect right here on the side. And this a little plastic goes with it. It's just to make sure that it doesn't contact with the, uh, with the uh, camera. Well, it's not gonna get discharged well in transport. And after, what I've done is I have a USB port in my computer. I have a UV, USB port on my, uh, in many places in my house. So I connected and it took uh, one day and a half to recharge it. Then I wait another day and then I reconnected and about 10 minutes it was fully recharged. So that's what I've done, okay? I done it a, a third day and it was didn't need any recharge. There's a green light showing. I don't remember where the green light was. Uh, right, right here. Okay, so right now it's not showing because it's not recharging, but it's very important. So the first maintenance you have to do is read your manual, of course, but recharge the battery. Okay. When that is accomplished, then you can safely put the battery back and this is the first time I'm putting without the uh, plastic insulator. So I'm just gonna put it like this and here, here we go, all right? I'm just gonna close it like that. 
put it like this like this loosely and that's the instruction about the battery pack inside it, it does uh, tell you the uh, many warning like what's the uh, the temperature it good until it, it's the batteries can work under minus 20 degrees celsius up to 60 degrees celsius so minus 20 uh, yeah we have a little colder than that i have to uh, I have to keep that in mind. It's good for the standard charging time. It takes 16 hours. Like I told you, it's uh, the standard. Mine took a little bit more than that. So uh, very happy. Now the warning is very common, basic safety. You don't throw that in the water. Don't use soapy. Don't uh, charge it higher uh, USB and stuff like that. And uh, very well made. Again, the instruction, I go through it now. The, I'm just going to put the uh, USB cable right there on the side. Now about the Garden Pro and I'm going to that to, together, right? I didn't put any apps. I have my cell phone here. I didn't put any apps so far. So I'm just going to, I read it, everything. I put tags and again, it's very well uh, made. In the template of contents, the, uh, there's the inbox, the important note, the introduction, and it's, it is very well detailed. So what I'm going to do is uh, the first thing, like I put a red tag and it said in the box, important note about the battery. Please read the battery instruction manual and security requirement careful before you use the battery pack to power it for the first time. Keep it for references. So yes, it is very important to, uh, to know about that. Okay, so read it, take the time. Uh, they talk about the, about the camera storage. Uh, they talk about the uh, built-in memory, the SIM card for the uh, cellular uh, waves, and the uh, if you have uh, even the uh, uh, what you're referring, if you need more information about that, I look into the the link they talk. They talk about the uh, Zopu, anyway, it's a weird name, and in Canada and the state North America, we all cover it. Okay, and uh, they talk the advantage of that camera. Uh, the main feature, uh, real-time live stream via the apps. This come with a SIM card, building memory storage, no SCD card required, a quick activation by apps, offer affordable and flexible data plan. There's uh, also 8,000 rechargeable battery, milliampere uh, rechargeable battery program with your camera via apps. Send a picture to cell phone, high quality picture of 48 megapixel, still photo and uh, there's a lot of various stuff. There's a clear night vision also. And uh, various uh, three working mode, motion detector, time lapse and hybrid. There's a fast trigger time approximative to 0.1 second to 0.5 second. There's a uh, various stuff, so part in control. And he also talked to you about the various uh, place uh, like the land sensing indicator the iron LEDs and stuff like that. Okay. All the books also, it's the, uh, they talk about the feature, the tripod mode, the microphone, the plug to uh, connect the solar panel uh, and everything. And also the, uh, all everything around it. Okay. Uh, power switch is used to power on the mode off to the camera off modes, everything. So what I'm going to do for now, is uh, I'm just gonna start to read it. I'm going to, the first thing is uh, download the app into my cellular phone and uh, we go uh, through that. I want to, I want to, it's easy to do, but I, I'm gonna do it right now. So, uh, so uh, stick around, right? All right, folks. So it went really fast. It's so easy. The first thing you have to do be, uh, after you install the apps, the apps, yeah, you just have to read on page eight, download Guard Pro mobile apps. And from when you do download, they're gonna ask you for a, pa uh, a password, uh, account name, a password, and then you follow step by step. And during the process, they ask you to install the camera. And then when the cellular phone, the app is talking the camera, you're gonna have to uh, take a, a scan 
of the, the, the QR code and the camera is, is telling you and then they connect together. It went really fast and trust me, I'm the last guy on earth about technology. I'm still a carburetor, uh, flat screwdriver and a couple of wrench to <laughs> a generation. So it went really fast. Now, uh, activate the camera. You just have to read after logging your account. Please make sure your camera is near you. Please follow the quick start instruction. Step down, show on the app to confirm the cellular network of your camera. That's what I've done. During the setup, the app may ask you permission such as the camera to scan QR code. Please allow it to complete the process. The other thing too that I find sad, they ask me about my credit card. It's uh, Google, so it's safe. And uh, I've done that, but it's, it doesn't cost me anything. All right, it's just for uh, if I decide to buy other stuff. Please allow it to complete the process. It, uh, it's doing that right now. After the final step, a quick start to go to activation code in the camera menu setting, scan the QR code, that's what I've done. Once scanned, the camera starts activating the SIM card, which is located right here. Like the camera is facing me, there's a little uh, slot there. I, uh, the, the SIM card is already there. You can press menu to exit. So uh, I'm just gonna put menu. Whoop, you have to take care. And as I can see, I can see inside, and I'm just gonna show you that in detail. You can see the uh, the camera, it's working, all right? Now, I didn't remove the protection film yet. <laughs> so, all right. So from there, I'm gonna read the, the rest, so we'll stick around, okay? So, it just finished to uh, wait for the seller. It's connected the, uh, the device activated until the following icon shown on the top bar of your camera screen. These are the, uh, the item, the icons. And I'm going to show it to you very close, closely. It's right, located right there, all right? I just have my big, uh, okay? So right now it's activated and on the page here, it says in detail, watch the, uh, what is the icon for, okay? So I've got that uh, little green crown. It's still doing its thing, so it's not finished yet. I've got a clown with uh, a little plus on it. So the clown, okay, plus the camera, okay. So just hold on the cellular, the thing is connected, all right. Uh, the camera is searching for available cellular network. It is, I've got the 4G connection, it's read it there. And that's why it is important. The book is very well made by the way, it's explaining very well. Uh, 4G, I've got that. Uh, cellular network is not connected, it is connected. I've got everything ready to go. I got the little cross. Everything in detail, the device activation, the camera has been activated successfully. Yes, I've got the, the check mark plus the plus. And in the apps, once the device is activated, the orange bar in apps will turn to a green bar. So let's check that. And of course, my locking screen is just locked. All right. So I've got the green bar here. There's my name. Uh, I'm online and everything is uh, showing uh, correctly. All right. Now the ID code cellular is just for example. I've got the ID code cellular. Will turn into your camera name. You have a program. Your name John. Me is it's uh, what is my name? It's David. <laughs> uh, once the server installed, establish. Okay. App navigation. Once the, the camera is fully activated, you can navigate the apps, the app supply form, forming table, plan, status, setting, and gallery. So I'm gonna read that, so stick around. So on the apps in the bottom there, that's where you're gonna find this information about the plan, the camera, the status, setting, and gallery. All right. So right now I've got a 30 day, a 30 days uh, free. Uh, plan so that's where my credit card come in the I guess oh so there's uh, the plan like uh, this is that of your current data plan is a uh, like total remaining in 15 days and remaining the amount of data plan for this cycle you can order a new plan order HD photo or video on demand there we go that took so long and I point it like this toward like that and I'm just gonna so we're making connection
And right now, I'm just gonna try to move it, to show it to you. I'm just gonna move the camera like this. And it, it takes about two, three seconds. So you can see I'm connected right there. All right. So the camera, it's working. I'm very happy. Now I'm gonna put pause. I'm gonna put the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put stop. Oh, oh la la. Just going back in there. And I use one minute of uh, live stream, okay? <laughs> That's free. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Now, there's other stuff too. Live stream, take a photo or record. Also, select the option for clarity and live streaming. Now, the status. The status, it's everything is in there. Basically, I've got the signal, I've got the battery, I've got the card, the hours of uh, recording, the temperature. It's not 27 degrees Celsius in the house. It's, uh, by the way, it's uh, we're 20, 23 degrees Celsius. So uh, yeah, the temperature, it pro probably the battery is warm. Probably the, I've got the model, the version of the camera and everything. All right, now the settings. So I've got the setting. I'm gonna go through that. So they asked me to uh, to, uh, to name it. So I'm just gonna name my camera. There we go. So yeah, yeah, that's my fault. I need to work how to do the app. So stick around, okay? All right. So I'm just gonna turn off the camera right now. Okay. So there's two ways you can set up your camera. There's the book here and it tells you step by step through with the camera right here, like the cellular, the APN activation code, cellular info, uh, cellular and stand. And then all the info about the cellular transfer, cellular photo quality, the mode, the photo or the video, the video quality, the photo burst, video quality, video length, 10 second, three second or video sound. And you can do that with your camera or with your apps. So uh, it's very, really easy to, uh, if you go in the parameter and you can say uh, like 10 seconds, the, like the day or the night, the, the sound of the video. The, basically just go through the book and it's very well made. It's easy and uh, for the setup, like I'm very surprised about that. Now we're gonna talk about the mounting and positioning. All right, so stick. All right, folks, on the uh, parameter, there's you can use a cellular with on 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 off mode. If it's on on mode, the battery will always stay on. With the solar parallel, it should stay on. So for the next thirty days, we're gonna try uh, test that so, since it's free. And if it's off, uh, it's gonna be on standalone. And the cable that I'm using to recharge the battery, how to download is uh, from here for the USB there. And you're going to download it into this. I uh, probably, I have to read the book for that. I don't know, but cellular uh, is the only on app setting now. But enabling the cellular and and instead you will able to do live stream and receive capture in real time. However, be aware that this may consume more of your data plan and battery power. In order to live stream, a valid live stream add on data plan must be purchased if there's no valid live stream balance. So that's where the, my credit card coming on. So I'm gonna use it for 30 days and I will, I just went down to the uh, Dylan, the, uh, the the gentleman who offered me the camera and I asked him how much it's gonna cost me. So I keep you in touch about that, okay? So I uh, stick around. So I hope you're able to see me. So since it's very windy outside, I'm gonna talk about it. There's various way you can secure your, uh, your camera. There's uh, in the back of it, there's a, uh, here you can use this uh, strap that you can go around the tree or they're, they're providing also a camera uh, a set of plate I'm just gonna open it for the first time in front of you it came with the screws and also the adjustment and this here 
okay the uh, that's why you're gonna screw the camera under here like a camera mounting plate and you're going to uh, install it like here like that and just oh I I'm in my uh, okay it's locking a place it's very nice so uh, it depends how so me I'm gonna screw it on the garage so the camera will be like this and it's the same mounting plate by the way for the uh, for the solar panel it's the same thing and then behind there's the screw here same thing as the as the uh, camera itself okay now for the solar panel, just make sure it's pointing towards the south. So I'm going to have it installed in front of my garage. So it's going to see my main uh, entrance door, rear door, and also uh, whoever is coming on each side. There's a, a nice thing about, and again, a very, very, very well made book. Uh, sensing angle distance, there's a mode, you put the camera on, then on the menu log, you put motion test, and there's a light. Uh, will tell you uh, within 60 seconds if the light red is flashing that means it's seeing you if it's not blinking that means it doesn't see you so it's a very nice very well written and trust me I know I look like a technology guy like uh, <laughs> but I'm not and it's very understandable now to uh, to download from the like I told you the same cable that you recharge the battery with the UB, USB port that's where you're going to download the uh, from the camera to your uh, to your uh, to your uh, cellular phone okay there's various connection you can add mine I will be able to uh, connect it right there and I'm going to be able to download direct into my cellular phone okay so if I don't use the internet if I use the internet then the internet will send it direct to the uh, apps on my phone and I will be able to see it so I'm going for the first 30 days I'm gonna use the internet it's free and I keep you informed about that so what I'm going to do for the rest and uh, for the antenna it's a uh, very well built study it's plastic so you have to be kind of uh, what I will do is just remove the uh, for the mounting uh, part of it I'm just gonna remove the antenna and uh, I'm going to uh, screw, first of all screw this then screw into the camera and uh, that will be it for my uh, installation and today was Saturday and I want to publish that, window, uh, that video on Wednesday so I keep you informed uh, I was gonna work about that so I hope that I had I didn't talk too much about the uh, the solar panel the solar panel the connection goes right under the camera right here i just have to remove this uh, rubber and i just to connect it in there okay so again before doing that connect in make sure your battery is charged and uh, if you have any question please uh, send me a, a reply to my email but again the book is very 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 well made i mean wow it's easy to understand uh, this is my evaluation for now and as you see I've got the uh, in the uh, I forget to tell you this there's also uh, if you want to put uh, little plugs above your screws to make it more fancy I mean most of us we use it in the wood but I ain't gonna install that but it's very detailed very high quality I'm very surprised about the quality of the camera so far and I already see the image through my phone. <laughs> I mean, wow. So stick around. The next part is everything is gonna be set up temporarily for 30 days and we'll see about that. I need to set up myself because it's uh, two degrees outside windy. So <laughs> it's gonna, <laughs> all right, cheers. All right, you can see the solar panel right here on the left and the camera in slight angle pointing toward my front, my, uh, rear of my house and I should have a good angle we'll see about that now the time that I I set up the camera I use the battery so right now the battery is recharging it's been 15 minutes now uh, maybe a little more so that battery takes a long time to recharge I use different USB port so yeah that battery uh, yeah keep it charged very well before installing the uh, 
the uh, solar panel now it's temporarily installed but I use the uh, rear setup uh, it's the wind did calm down a little bit but I'm looking away perhaps to safely secure a little bit better the camera I'm thinking about perhaps uh, like uh, what's we'll about that because I mean maybe the camera will be down or something like that but uh, <laughs> I barely uh, cleared the uh, the antenna of the uh, of the <laughs> for the uh, the cell. So anyway, yeah, very nice, very nice after The uh, screws, however, are Phillips screws. Uh, if you can find same size with the uh, Robinson Canadian screwdriver, it would be much better because. Uh, even uh, this is soft wood, but it's dry wood. It's, I had to pre-drill. It was tough going, and the uh, the screw was starting to uh, wear off. So yeah. All right. So stick around. Uh, our uh, harsh winter environment and summer wind and various Canadian weather that we have. Uh, there's another way to attach. There's the bracket, as you can see here under. It's all plastic, but it's a strong plastic. There's the strap. You can fill it from each side. And hook it around the tree but there's a, another one there's a hole you go from left to right of the camera so I use the uh, a construction screw and I use uh, a electric wire and I pad it there twist it around so just in case of a, <laughs> a backup plan in case of a, I don't know the only thing right now the battery is not it's not there and it's still charging but just in case of a, a heavy ice storm uh, and that's another reason why I put it's right above the roof so it should be good but just in case but uh, yeah that that idea for you guys uh, hunters or put it off over a tree as a backup it's uh, very well uh, designed I was even uh, thinking of using a 550 paracord uh, for us military folks it's the, the same cable for the a pair of shoes when you build out <laughs> all right so uh the antenna i uh it's it's very nice but uh yeah make sure you put it in the right position because it it get easily turned right now i don't have enough clearance i didn't think about that but i'm just gonna let it down like this it's not gonna move and uh yeah <laughs> all right so i'm just waiting for the battery and then uh, we're gonna see a live shot all right cheers all right, so after uh, half an hour recharging, I'm gonna install the battery and I'm going to install in accordance with the, uh, they said, they call it for the, um, the motion test. So you need to go in your camera and uh, the camera will come down, press the menu button, go to motion test and for 60 seconds, after the, the, the countdown delay, uh, it will be ready to capture motion. So uh, I'm gonna leave the camera right here and uh, hopefully you should be able to see the red light flash, uh, flashing. I don't know where it is, the red light, it should be in the screen there, but, uh, and we'll see from there. And after that, the reason why the motion testing is for to have a, a correct place to detect the, uh, make sure the camera is working. So I'm just gonna put the camera right here and uh, we'll see how it goes, all right? So I'm gonna take the book right here. So uh, this it, it starts after 25 seconds. So I uh, will see uh, what happened. I'm looking at the time at the timer of the camera. So uh, we'll see. It's not ready yet. They said ideally, it's the camera need to be put between three to six feet. In my case, it's probably too high, but uh, we'll see about that. All right. So. Alright, right away, just hit me, you can see the red light. So, right there. Did you see me right here? Perhaps to, like this. Whoop, yeah, right there. A little more. Nope. 
like this. Ah, I need to put a little bit more and go, eh? But definitely in front of my door. You see I'm all here. Yeah, it's seeing me. So uh, right here, yeah. Right in here. Really. Let's see right here like that. All right, so I'm just gonna put it a little bit angle, so stick around. All right, so I put it a slightly, a little bit more angle, and uh, so the antenna is fitting now, <laughs> and uh, just just waiting. So oh, right away, I can tell it's picking up me right there. Let's see here. Rip, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna see the images and stick around. All right, so the picture shows directly a, a large angle. So let's go uh, see with my cellular what will be the uh, the result on live stream. All right, stick around. So I am on. Uh, I just on uh, activate the apps. I'm just gonna put the camera. So uh, I've got nine minutes left. So I'm just gonna try that. It's connecting. And here we go. I can see right away my house. <laughs> That's so I'm just gonna put the pause. And uh, that is so cool. <laughs> so it's working. Now the uh, for the answers, um, I will for the the cost. I have nine minutes left. There's a various plant. You can. I've got thirty days. The, the actual plan right now it's for 30 days free. I've got 297 photos. There's two uh, seconds, so I've got uh, 2,972. And um, I'm trying to figure out. So I'll, I'll keep you informed of that, okay? So I'm just gonna shut down this, everything. So I know that the battery is fully charged. It's it's not 13 degrees Celsius outside. It's six degrees Celsius, and uh, yeah, and try to find other things. Maybe plus. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to. Yeah, the the apps. It's also you can have other camera from Guard Pro. Okay, so uh, go back in there. There's various stuff. If you 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 push your your name on the top, there's various stuff uh, you can have, and you, there's various uh, conditions. So all the 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 owner manual, which is very well made, stick around. Okay, so right, I can tell you that the positive thing is the uh, guard guard pro uh, apps site. How easy is it to install? Just follow what it's written. Very, very well written. And write down your two password you need. The password for your Guard Pro there uh, for the apps and also the one, uh, no. The guard, uh, the password for your camera when you open your camera. You can put a lock also on the door, but at that altitude, uh, I don't need to put a lock. <laughs> but uh, perhaps in Megantic, uh, like I told you, my plan is to test it for 30 days. We'll see how much it costs, uh, what's the plan, and definitely I'm gonna install that in Let Me Gantic, uh on my land. And uh, that would be so cool to see it from uh, the actual, uh, uh, that would be very nice. Now, the setup, just remember, I have a plan B to have the camera, if something, circumstances, could be a bear, can be a deer like moving it and stuff like that because uh, I don't call it flimsy but it's plastic all right it's a strong plastic I can see that but yeah put another way to attach it the strap definitely will do the trick okay um, also the uh, the solar panel I keep you updated with the apps I can see the uh, how much uh, the uh, the the battery is charged, so I keep, I keep a, an update on that for you. 
and again the instruction manual is really really outstanding uh, now that cable here it come with the camera and uh, that's the one that I should be able to uh, download the uh, video like it's so I'm able to connect it with the camera and on my cellular phone to uh, download the uh, the videos and the image if in case I, I I put it on a standalone without internet okay so uh, that will be my end uh, one thing I forgot oh la la uh, on my video description if you're interested to buy that camera there's a discount uh, number that I will put it I so use uh, that discount number and you can save uh, a nice percentage above the tax the Canadian tax uh, I I don't remember the number, sorry about that, but I will write it down. Uh, I think it's 20% off, so uh, so if you're interested. And so far, I know uh, GP Outdoor is using the camera, is very happy with it. And of course, uh, uh, our good friend uh, Mike from... Uh, I forget his name. Retired for life with the... With Astro, uh, with the exclamation uh, he's, uh, he's using it to several of them so uh, he's got even one with the, the solar panel with a battery on it so so uh, these uh, two outstanding uh, Canadian uh, ambassador are telling you that they're very good I really like it so and thank you again uh, Mr. Dylan who chose my humble channel I'm very like wow <laughs> thank you like I'm gonna try to field test it like I field tested my my intro tractor all right very hard and it works and uh, yeah so again gentlemen uh, please take care of yourself and uh, be well uh, Mike I, I didn't know you were sick uh, that's serious here uh, and uh, I'm happy that you're back and uh, please sh share our information and remember folks all right life is very good okay cheers